Welcome. Hello. To another episode of SNR Motoring Super Early Morning Show. This is season two, episode nine. Niner. Niner. <laughs> you calling from a walkie talkie? Mm, maybe. Okay. For some reason today, the uh, our little M Audio M Track decided to to work with both tracks, so we're social distancing this morning with two microphones. So now only one microphone is going to fall. None will fall. So like by the end of the podcast, you're going to be talking straight down. I switched the microphone stand. You have that microphone stand, but you have less weight on yours now, so it's okay. It's never okay. Yeah. All right. Newsy, newsy, news. <laughs> so in Japan, why can't we get stuff like this? McDonald's <laughs> is going to give you a Toyota Supra, an A90, a real one. No, not a real one. That'd be pretty sweet if they did. But like, it's messed up. What? We don't get we don't get cool stuff like that. We get Fast and Furious cars. Woo. Well, I should say Fast 9 cars. Yeah, that's what I want right there. They get a pretty sweet bus, a fire truck. <laughs> a what? I'm assuming that's an ambulance. Yeah. A uh, GTR GT500 and a Supra. It's kind of a weird combination. Like, is it supposed to be maybe like it's supposed to be like a racetrack? Like, those are the two race cars and then that's the... The emergency fleet that stays at the racetrack could be, yeah. could be. That's a good connection. Right I don't know there. what the bus has to do with it. Uh, the bus, buses, and the uh, spectators to the stands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <Yeah. laughs> oh wait, there's also going to be a Mazda CX-5 police car. Okay. What's it say? Weirdly, a dinosaur carrier lorry. Yeah. So it's going to look like a dinosaur? I guess. I mean, who or doesn't? Or is it carrying dinosaurs? Either way, it'd be pretty sweet. Who doesn't like dinosaurs? Um, I'm sure cavemen. Neanderthals, if you will. I'm sure they didn't like them. I mean, what if they had a pet dinosaur? What about that? Probably turned into a jerk. <laughs> I tried to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so the 2021 Porsche 911 will have a seven-speed manual. How many speed? How many? What transmission has the most gears? I don't know. Like new transmission, like like a lot of the well, like the the Jeep Grand Cherokee that we used to had had eight. It was an eight-speed automatic, like just like put all the gears in there was it Do a 20 speed was it toyota slash lexus that had like the 12 speed automatic it's there this is like mountain bike status <laughs> you got that 10 speed 12 speed no i got 20 speed we're gonna go back a little bit here going back way back so we're gonna we're gonna go back to our youth do you remember the int- the Sentra SER, master of the six speed. The, yeah. It came with the CD, it had like the music on it, and the corny little movie. Mm-hmm. It was such a big deal for a car to have a six speed. Yeah, it, it was, was like just the like, first ever, wasn't it? Probably. I, I think higher end. Like, yeah. Supercars probably had them. Well, yeah. Obviously. But yeah, I think it was like the first economy car, sport compact. Yeah. But it was such a big deal, and that car just flopped. Yeah. Like, I don't think anyone bought it. It's a turd. I beat one of those in the Pro J5. But is this just gonna how it's going to keep going? Like, in the next, I don't know, five, ten years, it's going to be like an eight-speed <laughs> and then a nine-speed? Yeah. It's just, just throw, throw, yeah. It's pretty soon, and you won't even, I don't know, need a transmission. It's just going to. It won't be a transmission anymore. It's just going to be... EV with direct drive? Yeah. Something, I don't know. Something ridiculous. This is a 30 speed. You <laughs> even, won't even feel it shifting. You won't even know what gear you're in. Or just go to 
CVTs. Everyone will have CVTs. Get out of here, mosquito. Yeah. So what? Uh, Sixty-two miles per hour, four point two seconds. Would they forget they were timing it? Uh, it's probably one of those <laughs> obscure. Uh, he, for, he forgot to look at the speedometer. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what? Sixty-two. Put down sixty-two. That's uh, like our timing. <laughs> In our must three seventy Z first Mustang video. Yes, the te- the yes. very the very scientific test that yeah. was done with a phone yeah. stopwatch, yeah. <laughs> an app, and we know we aren't professional drivers. You know, like we know we said in the video that we didn't know what we were doing, and everybody that watches our videos should know that we don't know what we're doing half the time. So half the time, all the time. Well, yeah. And sometimes we have. No, never mind. Yeah, I, to say, I could see, I could see the gears turning. Like, when have we ever gone into this? Like, we know what's up. Yeah, it's usually like, mm. Meh, let's see what happens. Yeah, uh, and and reach a top speed of 191 mile an hour. Is it just me, or does not that not seem all that impressive? Like, shouldn't it? Shouldn't they be gone for the? the 200 plus mile mark and a faster like a two second zero to 60 i don't think this or is this just like their baseline like i think this is more of their baseline i don't think this is their like twin turbo fire breathing monster no because well, wasn't that one like zero to 60 in less than two seconds yeah, I, I mean it was something we unreal. About that one. yeah i think this is more the just the base model oh oh this is, yeah the carrera s and 4s oh but still, a seven-speed. like Seven-speed manual. I'm looking at the shifter, and I would get confused. Like, what gear am I in? <laughs> like, does it have an indicator light? Um, maybe the gear shift lights up. I'd get tired. Well, it should display it on... Well, I don't know. Should it display it on the instrument cluster? Maybe. I would hope so, because what gear am I in? I don't know. Just keep shifting. Yeah. Gives you more of a chance to miss shift. Yeah. Okay. So Factory Five has a new body. I looked at this. They're saying how beautiful and everything it is. Uh, you like it? I love it. Yeah. I think I, I really want to build a Factory Five car. I think that would be a lot of fun. <laughs> it looks like a. <laughs> A it'd be box, one of, like <laughs> something you used to draw as a kid. No, it would. It, it'd be one of those memes where it's like nailed it, and it's like the cake. Yeah, and then you see the other person who made the cake, and it's like destroyed. Oh, uh, I never saw that meme, so I don't know what you're talking about. Right? Yeah, I don't know. It looks. Uh, I mean, it, it's it's a cool concept because that is something that you could buy i don't know what the price point is going to be it didn't say is it in, are they actually making it yeah oh yeah so it's like a kit you would call oh uh, okay. they would send it to you they're the same people that make the cobra stuff right yeah. yeah yeah factory five and i think they're gonna cobra so this was this was pretty crazy hmm. so the factory five f9r is designed to accommodate a range of chevy and ford crate engines like the 6.2 LT1, yeah, or the Mustang 5 liter Coyote, but you can. It also has the option for the race cast engineering Chevy LS based 9.5 liter V12. I'll take one. It puts out 750 horsepower and 700 foot pounds of torque. I think a V12 can fit in the Conquest? Plasma welder. Or a plasma cutter and a welder, we can make anything work. We might have to move your seat to the back of the car. <laughs> really would be a two seater. Yeah. I'll just take the front seats out and sit in the back seat. We'll put the motor in the back. <sighs> Mid engine. New project. So maybe I'll win that raffle. <laughs> so if you have a V twelve laying around, yeah. We'll come get it. 
No, I do not want your notifications. So I think this is hilarious. Yeah. So I didn't read it, but okay. You know, remember, who, you sent it to me earlier in the yeah, week. I think you know who Matchless Crowd Racing is, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, they were asked, you know, why no one. When, it, first, well, where did they come up with that name? Matchless Crowd Racing. All of the like, <laughs> they all had spoon. <laughs> well, we know where that came from. Spooning. <laughs> Dude was spooning with his wife. Uh, that's a good name for a performance. But they all like uh Matchless Crowd Racing. Yeah. They race in crowds with out matches. <laughs> sure. Sounds good. Ponder that. Anyway. So they asked them, why does it seem like Everybody, including Smokey Nagata and all the other famous tuners, hate the new Supra. They asked the owner of MCR this, mm -hmm. and his response is, it's so slow, and I can't battle using that thing at all. <laughs> that car can't, can't drive at all. using that thing? It's a BMW inside anyways, and a complete waste of money. Wow. Those are harsh words from the matchless crowd racing. Yes. But it seems like he's not the only one. Yeah. Like, the big tuners in Japan, Smoky Nagata, yeah. top secret, they just like, nah, we're good. You can keep it. Keep but, your BMW. That's crazy. That's, you know, weird. Like, they're saying that, you know, it's horrible and whatnot, but like... The people that modify it over here and say it's like great. It's a great p platform. Like I don't know. I could be just making that up. Well, I mean, it, it's a popular car. Yeah. But remember when they first came out? Actually, came out. How many videos popped up? Mm -hmm. But the, I mean, they everyone's could, going for the record, the first world record. Yeah, that's this Supra. I mean, they could just be riding the super hype train. Yeah. So. Is that like Soul Train? Yes. Yes. When you go to pick up your Supra, you have to like dance. <laughs> Down the line. Down the line. <laughs> like, you know, dress up in a 70s gear. What if that was real? That'd be, that'd be good. I think I'd go buy, try to go buy one. But then, you know, I'd fail the credit application. <laughs> then they wouldn't this, let me dance down the line. This is why. Yeah, they have a different <laughs> line. It's like the line of shame. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you dance there. Yeah. There's no one. It's no, like you don't get to dance. Really sad, pathetic you, music. You just walk with your head. <laughs> hung low. <laughs> then at the end of it, someone punches you with a big boxing glove. Yeah. No, they hand you a box, a, a pre like a present. You open it up. Open it up. Boing. <laughs> <laughs> or it's just a sad clown standing at the yeah. end when you get don't, him, he don't, hits you with a pie. <laughs> don't make it random. Yeah, <laughs> you won't know what you get until you. Oh, no, it, it changes every <laughs> yeah. time. The, yeah. the walk of shame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> I think it's just we're tired. <laughs> All right, so that's it for the news. We actually have news. Yeah. Things are uh look look like they're starting to come alive again. Oh, I did I did see that the the Mach E was pushed back. Oh, because of all the plant closings. It's been silent just like Joe Biden until now, until the set, the scandal. But, yeah. We're not going to get into that. No. It's not that type of show. Nope. All right. So, everybody's favorite questions from the Question Master. We need to make a little theme song for him. I think we say that every week. Yep. Someone go back, <laughs> someone go back and check. Go back and check us. Fa who's going to be our fact checker? Young Jamie. Check that. Young Jamie. Joe Rogan podcast. Oh, I don't listen to that. Obviously. Yeah. 
All right. Just can't stand his voice and the way he looks, his bald head. Well, it's a podcast, I'm so sure you don't watch it. I'm sure he's in. Well, he's, he does video, too. I have a... I have a uh, see if you uh, can answer this. Oh, geez. Probably not. What? This is just... This is a question coming off the top of my head. Is your favorite UFC, is UFC and Joe Rogan related. <laughs> okay. I what, that. What, was, what was his first UFC event that he... Worked on. Mm, I want to guess and say twelve. Wow, you got it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yes. That was also Tito Ortiz's first fight, or in the in the UFC, his debut, and uh, Randy Couture's. Both great fighters. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've been watching a lot. I don't know why, but I've been watching a lot of old UFC events. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Anyway. Since it's not like we're getting any new ones. Yeah. Anytime soon. Okay. Did you did you know that or did you just guess? I guessed. Like, wow. Like, but I probably had it stored away somewhere because I do listen to He had podcast. hair. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, he was on news radio too. Yeah. And he had hair on that. Yeah. He had a stereo too. No, he didn't. I thought that was a hoax. No, he really did. No, oh, I thought you said he, that was a hoax. You, no, he you had lied it, to me. No, he had it in like high school or after high school. Yeah. He, he's talked about it a couple times on the podcast. Hmm. Maybe I do like him then. But now he's in Resto Mods. Which are a waste of time. <laughs> we just lost our Joe Rogan fans. Engine swaps are not Resto Mods. All right. Are you ready now? Yeah. Okay. What? <laughs> I tried watching that the other day. Tried? Yeah, holy grail. As in it was like painful to watch um, or I was going I I was planning on watching the whole thing. Oh, okay. Put it that way. And your better half said no. She's like, "Can't you find something better to watch?" <laughs> Anyway, all, right. all right. What's your favorite car color? I've had, other than my first car, I've had the same color cars. I'm, I'm, no, I have no first car, and I, out of all the cars I've had, three were different than my usual. Ooh, that's a... Get out of here. Oh, he's attacking me. Get out of here, mosquito. How many cars have I had? All right. I'm going to say black, but I feel like it depends on the car because some cars just look better with certain colors. Like I'm not a fan of yellow cars, but there's like three or four that can actually pull it off. All right. I'm going to keep going questions because he'll be here all day. Yeah, I, for, I lost count. Uh, but it, uh, most of my cars have been white or red. I think my favorite color car, like nice clean white. Is that a black car? Laser. I don't, I don't know. I like them all. Yeah, it depends on the car. Yeah. Like certain colors just really work with certain cars. Like the the Conquest, I would only. I think I would only have that in white or black. What about that super rare color? What, the yellow or the burgundy? Yeah, the burgundy one, whatever that's called. The Durban? Yeah, that's it. Nah. I mean, do you like that, though? Like, is it, or is it just because it's so rare? That's why it stands out. I I guess it's because it's, I don't like it. Oh, okay. I I don't like the Durban. Okay. My dad had Durban. Remember that? Yeah. 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 They stole all my parts. <laughs> he's gonna get another one. No. He's uh he's stuck on the mini Cooper train for the rest of his life. Mm, okay. He's yeah. He's found his happy place. What's your favorite pizza? 
Which pizza chain do you prefer most? Um, I don't. I don't. I don't get pizza from big chains. I just I find local. There's a place down the street, Chris's. He's Little a closer. No. <laughs> he's the closest to our house that delivers, and he's the best in our area. So, yeah, Chris's Pizza. Overall favorite, though. Overall favorite was yeah. Corrado's in the mall. Okay. Yeah. You remember them? Yes, I do. They, I mean, they until recently, they were still in the, the Myrtle Beach Mall. I haven't been to the mall, and I don't know. How long? But yeah, their pizza was the best. There's a. I'm a fan of the tried and true, just pepperoni pizza. Yeah, it's hard to beat that. Yeah, I don't. I don't like like mushrooms and all kinds of crazy stuff on the pizza. Just I enjoy basic, all that, but uh, basic pepperoni pizza is the staple. Yeah. And back in my little hole of a hometown, there was a pizza joint still there called Giovanni's, and that was my favorite. Is it New York style or their own style? <laughs> Ohio style. No. <laughs> Does Ohio have a style? Well, there's like the the squares, like the uh, Cleveland like Sicilian style. style? Kind of, yeah. yeah. Not as thick. Yeah. A little bit thinner. I'm partial to the New York style. I've had Chicago style pizza. It's not like a, to me, it's not pizza. It's like a. A cake or something. It's like a meal. It's see, pizza to me is more like a street food, I guess. But the Chicago pizza is more like a a meal in mm. itself. I don't know. All right, AutoZone, Pet Boys, Advance Auto, Napa Auto Parts, O'Reilly's, or Rock Auto. Rock Auto. Rock Auto. Because well, besides Napa, Advanced. O'Reilly's and uh, what's the other? AutoZone? They all sell the same parts. <laughs> I just like Rock Auto because you get the sweet magnets. Yeah, and they have like the best deals. Yeah, and it kind of those closeout specials. Like yeah, a dollar spark plugs. <laughs> Can't beat that. What did I buy that was like <laughs> less than a dollar? Um, it was. Oh, what was it? Uh, valve seals. Yeah. And you got like 500 of them. <laughs> yeah. They sent me a ton of valve seals for like 76 cents. Yeah. It really did look like, because I ordered them, it looks like they just had a bag and they're like, send them all. Yeah. Just like, these are all, just get yeah. them out of here. They're on closeout. We yeah. Need them. So, uh, I'm a big fan of Rock Auto. So, if, if you buy anything from Rock Auto and it asks, how did you hear about us? Put SNR Motoring. Yeah. Maybe one day they'll sponsor us. We, you know, they, we we sent them an email asking if uh, they'd be interested in, in interested in a sponsorship, and they said that they don't do sponsorships for YouTube channels n- at all. I thought it was just YouTube no, channels. No, they don't do sponsorships. Really? Because yeah. like a lot of podcasts. Yeah, I know they do it. The Darlington Dragway is sponsored by Rock Auto. Like, I guess they just didn't like us. <laughs> <laughs> the, probably the person's like, well, let's check this video out. <laughs> yeah, that's just, bad. just tell them we don't do them. Yeah, we don't We don't want to be associated with them. <laughs> Weirdos. If you do have a business or anything, uh, and you'd like to sponsor us, and you'd like to hear your name on this podcast, then uh, send us an email. Or in the YouTube video. Yeah. If you, yeah, sponsor us. Help, help us, us help you. Yeah. That's what it's about, helping each other. All right. Best list. Favorite 90s import and domestic. Mm, 90s import. I say it probably. I probably say this every week. MR2 Turbo. That's a tough one. There's so many good cars from the 90s. But what's your favorite? I don't know. Um, Domestic from the 90s? Me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, were there any good ones? I don't know. Um, Buick LeSabre. <laughs> no. LeBaron. Well, this is, like all the, like it seemed like GM and Ford. 
like here in the past, I don't know, what, five, six years, they've really ramped it up. I mm-hmm. mean, Dodge, everything it's done, Chevy, everything it's done. Yeah. I don't know. Well, that's because they're all owned by your import companies. I don't, I really don't know what a 90s <laughs> Buick Grand National. No, they weren't in the 90s. <laughs> Uh, oh, I know that uh, that Grand Prix, that turbocharged Grand Prix, the McLaren. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that, was that, was pretty, the, that was pretty. That sweet. was in the nineties. I think it was so crazy looking. Yeah, I think I need that in my life. I don't even know about import. Like, oh, there's just too many. Yeah. It's like, how do I kind of like with you in the eighties ones? It's like, how yeah. do you pick just one? Yeah. Well, you have to. I have to. Oh, my gosh. The next one's even harder. Uh, I guess... I'm going to say Mark III Supra. Yeah, that was a 90s car. 91. Yeah. I don't have anything against the pre-89s. Did they make them in, they just, make them in 92? Yeah, 92 was the last year of the Mark III. Huh. I think that was the best. Like the front, I like the way the front end looks on the ninety. Like the the front end, I have that front end. <laughs> Not that I don't like the eighty eight. I just like these better. Yeah. All right. Favorite two thousands import and domestic two thousands. Are we still in the two thousands? I would think so. In the year 2000. <laughs> or is that from 2000 to 2010? I hope not. Because the 90s are only 90 to 99. I guess so. Okay. So 2000, 2010. I don't even know. <sighs> Were there any good ones? Um, Probably going to... Someone's going to bash me for this, but the favorite domestic yeah. would probably be the Terminator. The yeah. 03, 04 SVT Cobra. Those are pretty nasty. I don't think anybody could bash you for that because that's a bad car. I'd like to have one of those. Hmm. Uh, import. It doesn't have to be what year? What year did we get the, the F07? Was that early 2000s? I know the WRX was 02 was the first year. Yeah, I guess the seven. We got the Google machines. Because I like the Evo 7s. I always wanted one. It doesn't have to be like what we got necessarily, you know? Yeah, true. Yeah, I still think I'm going to go with Evo. Mmm. <laughs> Scott's looking up what year we got the Lan Evo. I'm just it's it's fine. Whatever. It's not a big deal. It was, I'm still. It going, was around then. I'm going Evo Seven. Hmm. Two thousands. What'd you say for domestic? Oh, the Terminator. Yep, Termi. Hmm. I don't know. It's toughy. What the heck was that? Jerry. Probably. Um. Yeah, I guess. I'll, can I copy you and go with Terminator? You're going to have to ask the question master. I don't uh, like the rules. Uh, are there rules in the realm of the question master? You need to ask the question master. He's the one who... This is him. <laughs> this is his little thing. This is his game. We're just playing it. Yeah, we're just pawns in his grand scheme of things. All right. I don't, um, 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 yeah, I'm going to go Terminator as well. Uh, No. GTO. Mm, those were cool too. Yeah. 
I, I want I would like to have a GTO. Six liter. I feel like just getting the What was the other one? Five, five seven. it was five seven. Yeah, I feel like getting the five seven, you're not like not gonna like get the best one, you know. It's like why get a five seven when you can get a six liter? Okay. Yeah. And uh import um Unless the Evo 8. I would take an Evo 8 over a 7. Yeah, I was in 2000. Had to I like the 8s. Yeah, I had to have been. Um, How about that sweet Eclipse that they had? That thing was pretty cool. What? The 2000 oh. Eclipse. <laughs> the one that was in uh, Fast and Furious 2. Uh, I was thinking about the one after that, but yeah, oh, that would too. yeah, They're, I think they came with a V6. Yeah. Ugh. They were, they almost reminded me. I know it's, it's not, but it reminded me of the FTO. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. What year did they quit making the 3000 GT? In the nineties. It didn't carry over to the, like in Japan. Oh, I don't know. Because I think, like, probably like, wrong on this, but I think 0 02. 98, maybe? Actually, I think I'm going to change mine. Uh, Mazda RX-7, third gen. Ooh, man. Because they still made them in Japan, I think, till 0 02. It was like 01 or 02. The same with the Mark IV Supras. Mm. Yeah. I still haven't answered for the import, but... Uh, yep, you better hurry up. RX-7, Evo, Mark IV Supra, Honda Civic. Volkswagen Golf GTI, 2003. Okay, Volkswagen Golf GTI. This or that? With 20 pounds of boost. The Mr. 2? Yes. Or the Lotus Elise? I know Lotus Elise is probably better and everything like that, but my heart goes to the MR2. I'm going to say Elise. It's because it's your daughter's name. She's not named after the <laughs> car. Okay. <laughs> Eleanor Mustang or Bullet Mustang? From which movie? The original Gone in 60 in, Seconds? Entirely up to you. Whichever oh, one you want. I'm going to say Bullet because I love Bullet. Yeah. Like that movie. You for Steve McQueen? I do. He wrestles my jimmies. Yeah. Um, I like the the way the Eleanor Mustang sounded in the newer Gone in sixty seconds. So I'm gonna go with that one. Okay. Brian's green Mitsubishi Eclipse from the first Fast and Furious, or Brian's green Mitsubishi Lancer Evo yeah. from Too Fast Too Furious. Eclipse. <laughs> Evo because it had a neon motor in it. The 420A? Yeah. Was that it? Yeah, 420A. Yeah. Wasn't that the same motor that they put in the Neons, too? Yeah. That's why I just said it was a Neon motor. <laughs> Did you say Neon? I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> and the PT Cruisers. Yeah. So when did the whole DSM end? Mmm... Well, that motor was strictly Dodge. I don't know. It was in the Eclipses, too. I don't know. Because that, was that still in the DSM era? Uh, I don't think it's a true DSM. A true DSM is a certain t year. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So it wasn't like all of them from... No. I mean, they still call them DSMs, but I think DSM was only from like... 90 to 96 or something like that. I know I'm probably wrong, but was it like select models too? I don't know. Like was the eclipse a true DSM? Yeah. Was the Talon, it was the late, the, the Plymouth Eagle and Mitsubishi. Those are the, yeah. Okay. But none of the other cars fell in that. Like a neon. Yeah. No, like that wouldn't no. have anything. No, that's not DSM. I it's don't know. Just a neon. No. No, that was... No. All right. That's all the questions. It's wannabe DSM. 
<laughs> it thinks it's a DSM, but it's not. Okay. <laughs> so any gripes, complaints, loves, hates? No. Or anything else? That's not conspiracy theory. I don't have any conspiracy theories anymore. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I guess that's it. I got nothing else. Yeah. So signing off. Thank you so much for listening or watching. Yes. Uh, or just hanging out with us. Yeah. Because there's like 10 people sitting over there watching this right now. There's, we're doing this live. Yeah. Live. Just for you. In my garage at six o'clock in the morning it's almost seven now oh uh, is it <laughs> oh. 653 i like how we both say that <laughs> you know is it we've been doing this for an hour mm. uh, almost yeah all right let's get off here and do something yeah all right thank uh, you see you bye bye